ओम शांति टुडे इज 25 मार्च 2023 मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बाप दादा मधुबन इसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन दिस इज अ वंडरफुल स्कूल वेयर द प्यूरिफायर फादर द ओशन ऑफ नॉलेज गिव्स यू द नेक्टर ऑफ नॉलेज एंड प्यूरिफाइज यू देयर इज नो अदर स्कूल लाइक दिस वन question is what piece of advice should you take in order for the father to become your helper at every moment answer is baba advises you children continue to remember me like a genie while eating sitting and moving around remove your intellects from everywhere else and connect them to me do the service of remembering the father and heaven this is the help you give this remembrance will make you into the masters of heaven this is an inexpensive bargain when you have courage baba becomes your helper at every moment the children who remain courageous receive help from god song is the heart says thanks to the one who has given its support om shanti your children heard the song who is it that says child child surely it is the father who says child in fact the world knows that it is the supreme father who says child he is called the supreme soul that is god all of you are children your children are studying in this school to change from human beings into deities you know that the unlimited father is teaching you he is the father and also the teacher the mother and father have many children the number of children will continue to increase a great deal the supreme father the supreme soul sits here and teaches you this is a wonder there isn't any other school as wonderful or unique as this one you children know that the ocean of knowledge who is also the purifier is giving you the nectar of knowledge and is purifying you people sing o oh, purifier come therefore this world is surely impure and there is also a pure world the new world the new home is said to be pure that home then has to become old so you children know that this is an old world there was a new world there was a lot of happiness there you children heard the song those people simply sing that on the path of devotion but you are now in practical forms we use the songs of the path of devotion for knowledge you children know that the father has come to take everyone back home he is the purifier and so he will purify everyone and take them back home talk to yourself in this way this world is definitely impure impure human beings bow down to the pure deity idols and pure sanyasis however there is only the one purifier father everyone remembers that one who purifies everyone because it is the task of the father alone to liberate the whole world from sorrow what causes you sorrow the vices what are the names of the vices they are the evil spirits of lust anger and impure arrogance a body is called matter bhut bodies are said to be made of the five elements that is of matter souls are separate from that a soul sheds a body and takes another you children now see the new world and are also studying for that people believe that destruction will take place and that a great war has to take place but they don't know what will happen after that because the god of the gita has been shown in the copper is the god of the gita taught you raj yoga shri krishna cannot teach it they have mentioned shri krishna's name in the gita and shown him in the copper is that is confusing we too had that confusion but our confusion has now been removed people have reached degradation but we are now going into salvation 
the day through knowledge the father says i am the ocean of knowledge no one else can give you knowledge only the one is called the ocean of knowledge and the gangas of knowledge emerge from him shiv shakti gangas of knowledge has been remembered that is the gangas of water which continues to flow it isn't that the gangas of water can go wherever it wants no your gangas of knowledge can go wherever you want and give knowledge your gangas of knowledge emerge there those people think that the gangas emerged in such and such a place and so they create gomuk cow's mouth there in fact your daughters are the gomuks this knowledge emerges from the mouths of you gomuks you are the true gangas of knowledge who have emerged from the ocean of knowledge the knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end of the world is explained to you only the father is called knowledge full only he is the world almighty the one with all powers he knows all the vedas and the granth he explains the essence of all of those to you there should only be one religious scripture for each religion for instance there is the one shrimad bhagavad gita and there is only one bible abraham came and established the religion of islam and then others continued to come after him whatever he said was then made into a religious scripture they did not do that immediately at that time he had to establish a religion all of those scriptures were made later the father says all the veda scriptures chanting tapasya etc are cults of devotion this is the cult of knowledge the period of devotion is now ending so the father comes and gives knowledge to purify the impure you know that you are now brahmins and that you will then become deities you have the full account of 84 births in your intellects we are now brahmins the mouth born creation of the brahma previously we belonged to the shudra clan and we now belong to the brahmin clan only you brahmins know this no one who belongs to the dt religion exist now hindus don't know that they truly belong to the dt clan and that they now belong to the shudra clan they forgot their own religion became corrupt in their religion and their actions and have become poverty stricken you children have now come to understand the meaning of hum so so hum from the father we souls are residents of the supreme abode we come here and play our parts we first went into the golden age into the dt clan and we then went into the merchant and shudra clans and we will again go into the dt clan you know for how many births you will remain in the each clan however baba would not sit here and tell you everything about each birth he tells you everything in a nutshell just know the seed and the tree that's all the father is the seed we are remembers of the kalpa tree we came from the supreme abode to play our parts from the golden age we went around the cycle those of other religions came at their own time then when destruction takes place all souls will go back home they will then come down number wise at their own time to establish their religions you have all of these secrets in your intellects children says baba we become the masters of heaven through what you teach us no one else can give us the happiness that you give us all human beings only give temporary happiness even animals give that the life of a human being is said to be the most valuable it is only human beings who can become deities human beings can become the masters of the world baba no one else can give us the happiness that you give us baba you make us into the masters of the world you are the creator of the world simply remember the father that's all there is no question of hat yoga etc in this you belong to the father and you know that baba is the creator of the new world 
Baba has come from the supreme abode. He is the most beloved father. Everyone remembers him. No matter what religion someone belongs to, he or she would definitely say, O oh God, the Father, Allah, or O oh God, the Father says, I live after giving happiness to everyone and this is why everyone remembers me on the path of devotion. I have now come once again to give you happiness. Then for half a cycle, no one will remember me. Maya doesn't reside there that she would cause you sorrow. You become deities, the masters of the world, and so they should remain in the hearts of you children day and night. Baba, you are making us into the masters of the world. We have a right to that. The father is creating heaven, the new world, and so he would surely make your children into the masters of that. God, the Father, creates heaven. So, why are all of us not in heaven? If everyone were in heaven, there wouldn't be hell. This is a play of victory and defeat, happiness and sorrow. The new world then becomes old. Who makes it new? Who makes it old? How does this world cycle turn? You have all of this in your intellects. In the golden and silver races, there are the sun and moon dynasties and the other religions then emerge in the copper race. Whatever happened in the previous cycle will now repeat in the same way. You children know that the golden age will start once again. The old world will end and the new one will come. People think that the world will still continue to grow older and that there is still a lot of time. The father says, you are in extreme darkness. Destruction is just ahead. I have come to purify the impure world. Previously, there was no one here. Children are now continuing to be created through the mouth of Brahma. There must definitely be innumerable children of Prajapita, Brahma. They will study for they have to become deities once again. Those who promise the father to become pure and who become spinners of the discourse of self-realization are the ones who will claim their fortune of the kingdom. Not everyone will claim it. All the rest will settle their karmic accounts and go back home. Baba is once again establishing the deity religion. All other religions are to be destroyed. The great war is just ahead. The God of the Gita sits here and explains the secrets of this history and geography. The praise of God is separate from the praise of Shri Krishna. Shri Krishna cannot be called the seed of the human world tree or the world almighty authority. There is only the one who is the world almighty authority. The praise of the sun dynasty is different from that of the moon dynasty. The praise of the merchant and shudra dynasties is also different. Each one's praise is his or her own. The chief minister is the chief minister and the governor is the governor. Not everyone can be the same. All of these matters have to be understood. People don't know that you are making Bharat into heaven. You are establishing the kingdom for yourselves in an incognito way with non-violence. There is neither the violence of the sword of lust nor of using your hands and feet or shooting someone. You don't have to take up weapons etc. You Brahmins know that. With Baba's help, you are once again making Bharat like a diamond. Exactly as you did in the previous cycle. This is spiritual service whereas other people do physical service. We are becoming elevated by following Baba's Srimad. All the rest continue to become corrupt by following the dictates of human beings. Everyone definitely has to come down. Devotion is at first unadulterated. That is very good devotion too. They worship just the one and then in the second grade they worship the deities. Then they even start worshipping cats, dogs. That is called adulterated devotion. They become adulterated from unadulterated. The father is now teaching you unadulterated yoga. 
while living at home with your families while eating and drinking you simply have to remember the father and your inheritance all of this requires effort although you may come and go from your home simply remember baba with your intellects in an incognito way there isn't even any need to say rama rama or salutations to shiva with your mouths simply remember the father baba is the incognito ocean of knowledge he knows the whole world cycle he is called the supreme soul this one is a soul and he receives knowledge from that father imbibe all of these things and then inspire others to do the same poor people continue to search for the path they don't know anything you know that the land of peace is the land of nirvana from where all souls come heaven is the land of happiness and hell is the land of sorrow the land of maya that heaven is the land of vishnu and this hell is the land of ravan the father says you simply have to remember the father and your inheritance that soul if your intellect goes anywhere else remove it from there while eating drinking and walking simply remember me your father it is very easy for instance when someone leaves abroad but his wife is in india then although they are far apart his intellect would still remember her we two are so far away yet our intellects have to remember the father from whom we receive so much happiness we receive sorrow from everyone as human beings cannot give constant happiness to human beings the father says continue to remember me like a genie simply remember the father and heaven do this service for me i am serving you to inspire you to remember me you then have to stay in remembrance of baba in order to serve take this advice this is the help you give children who remain courageous receive help from god this remembrance will make you into the masters of the world this is such an inexpensive bargain those gurus make you wander around a great deal when the one satguru comes there is no further need to adopt any gurus the whole system of adopting gurus then disappears all will have attained salvations at that time when the one satguru comes all the customs and systems of adopting innumerable gurus are removed for half a cycle those systems then continue again on the path of devotion in the golden age there are no gurus there is never untimely death there you receive health wealth and happiness for 21 births no one else can give you this you are receiving health wealth and happiness from the father and all the rest will go to the land of nirvan acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children who are spinners of the discourse of self realization love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 follow shrimat and do spiritual service to make bharat become like a diamond remember the father in an incognito way and become elevated number 2 talk to yourself have a heart to heart conversation baba no one else can give me the happiness that you give baba i am becoming a master of the world through the study that you teach us i have a right to the new world that you are creating blessings may you sit in the cottage of your forehead and experience the sweetness of introversion as a true embodiment of tapasya the children who control their words and save their time and energy automatically experience the sweetness of introversion there is the difference of day and night between the sweetness of introversions and the sweetness of words and interaction an introverted soul constantly sits in the cottage of his forehead and experiences being an embodiment of tapasya 
he observes silence of the mind with no waste thoughts and silence of the mouth with no words in this way he experiences the alokic sweetness of introversion slogan those who know the secrets of everything and remain happy in every situation are gyani souls those who know the secrets of everything and remain happy in every situation are gyani souls thank you baba om